Hi, so I've reached the point now where I'm going to ink up my cloud in the sky that I showed you cutting in the previous video. So a couple of things, um, just to explain, the bit that I'm going to ink today is this area here, the cloud obviously, but I'm going to ink up the whole of the hillside as well because I'm going to need some white there anyway, so I'm, I'm going to include it in this inking, but I may ink it again later. So that's the bit that I'm going to ink. And I'm going to mix the um, white ink with some extender in a minute. But first of all, I just wanted to talk to you about a bit of housekeeping for my glass. So this is a shower door, as you might have noticed um, me showing you when you look around the studio in a previous film. And before I mix any ink, I try to remember to clean the glass down with a damp cloth because it gets surprisingly dirty even though it looks clean enough. I find if I go over it and give it a good rubbing then it gets very dirty. I'm not sure which camera to show this to but yeah, you can see lots of dirt on the cloth there. So I always give it a polish and occasionally if things get really mucky then I use a window scraper and I go around and I actually scrape off any really stuck on bits of ink and, and problems like that. So a bit of cleaning before I start. And the cloud that I'm going to ink, I'm going to ink in white, but I'm not going to ink it in entirely opaque ink. So I've got some white ink here. This is uh, Cranfield traditional oil based ink. And I'm just going to get myself a little bit of that. And I'm not going to need very much of it. Okay, but I'll get a bit of that. And I'm mixing it with extender here um, because I want that white to be transparent. The cloud is um, going to be something quite delicate. So just putting white ink on would be too thick and a bit clumsy so I'm just going to put a bit of extender down on there. I still haven't used any dryers at this stage that's because these very thin sheets of colour I've just checked the print and it's completely dry um, from the first two layers and so I'm going to add a little of that white to the extender and just get those two mixed. I'm just pulling it out on the glass there just to get an idea of how much, how opaque that is. Maybe a little bit more. And when I do an addition, the first print that I print each time is usually a sacrificial print because it's impossible to judge perfectly what mix of colour or whatever you need for each layer without actually printing it. So I have to have a print on the right paper that I can use to check. And if everything goes perfectly, then great, it's part of the addition. But usually there's at least one print that's a sacrificial print. If you are starting out, I would advise that in addition to having a print on the fancy paper that you're using to addition on, you have a couple of what I call trash prints on a cheap paper just to mess about with before you hit the important prints. Because when you start out doing reduction printing, um, you're going to go wrong and you're going to mix the wrong colours and, and get stuff wrong. We all do it. So having a few sacrificial prints is, is probably a good idea. So to go back to my inking, I think that's probably about right. So let's just get that going. So I'm going to use another of these Japanese rubber rollers here. And 
a little bit of fluff there. Um, now I'm rolling it out, I can see that it is quite transparent. So I am going to have a go and see how it looks. And worst case scenario, what will happen is it will be too transparent and I'll need to mix more white paint in. But if I've printed it and it's too transparent, there's absolutely nothing stopping me lifting the print out of the way, inking up and double printing that particular print to build up the white ink on that layer. So now I've got the ink rolled out, I'm ready to start inking up my cloud, which I'm going to do exactly the same as the video that you watched for inking up the first layer of the sky. So I'm not going to show you that. I'm going to come back and show you dropping a shading onto that cloud instead. So thanks for watching this short video and hopefully you'll join me for the next stage.